You know what, now that I'm listening to it, that might be programmed in. I doubt they would do that, but it could be. Today we are breaking down the new Anabie song. <laughs> Make sure you follow us on Twitch if you want to be part of the live discussion. Let's get into it. So yeah, it opens up with that beat chord right away. You hear it like swell in as an effect. But watch this, I'm gonna write a metalcore rift over this. <laughs> you literally can put any metalcore riff over that. It'll work perfect. They have your reaction on their website. Really? Oh, they did? That's awesome. <laughs> and there's the metalcore riffs right there. They start adding it later on. In. <laughs> so the lyrics read off like this. Tackling a hectic schedule, Sunday is the only exciting day. I want to play, I want to slay. <laughs> what do you want to slay? But still can't figure out the right way. Where's okay? Come on, DM. It's okay, effort free. Ah, I've been lucky these days. Happy Sunday. Is she fing gonna go to work and kill some people? And that's what she's talking about? Having a happy Sunday? <laughs> Yeah, so work culture in Japan is pretty rough. Sounding out each other, we share the table and say hi. So yeah, it seemed like they're like friends at the end of the music video, kind of reflecting on their day of work. Peck on, peck on the ground, <laughs> like a real grown up bowing and behaving, right? Peck on, peck on the ground. Are you treating me like a child? I hate that feeling when people are like condescending and they talk to you like you're a little kid. I took it that they told their ass hat of a boss to go jump off a cliff. All right, let's check out her vocals. Vocals, very cute sounding and very brutal sounding all in one. <laughs> I didn't realize like that they did a DJ scratch on the beginning of her vocals right there. I thought that was, I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> The thing that impresses me right here with the vocals is how she jumps from like, You see how she's blending in the scream. So this wasn't done in two separate takes. This was all in one take right here. Because you can hear her introducing the scream as it's going through. You can hear it right before. Right there. And then you have group screams coming in. I love seeing that in mixes of how they blend that in together. So again, just bringing these awesome layers of vocals behind her. I like her singing voice a lot, Matsuri's singing voice. There's like these little nuances in her voice, like showing off some skill there, just like blending into head voice from her chest voice really well. I have a feeling we have not heard her range of vocals yet, Matsuri's. I think she can go crazy with her voice. And we just haven't heard it yet. <laughs> Pubaka, they've definitely got better at singing for sure. <laughs> so we got a lot of panning here. So they do that effect where like the vocals will come out on one side and they'll have like the reverb or delay like shot over to the right hand side of the headphones, which is really cool. A lot of the mixing in this song is all in the instrument. <laughs> Listen to all the sound design right on here. It gets covered up by the vocals. <laughs> That's a lot. And then that scream comes at the that freaking pig noise. Yeah, the EDM elements are really cool. This is my favorite part where the shamisen comes in. Guys, after listening to this song even further, it's actually a Koto player, not a shamisen player. Completely messed that up. So every time we say shamisen, I mean Koto. Because they have a double layer shamisen, but they keep it pretty centered. So imagine we have the circle here and then we have the panning. This would be down the center and they have both the shamisen like right here like that. It's pretty cool um, because it's cool that they kept it that close, which makes it to us sound more in the center, but it isn't. It's just slightly off. 
you know what? Now that I'm listening to it, it might be, that might be programmed in. I doubt they would do that, but it could be. The Shamsen just goes off right here. There's like a keyboard sound in there too. That's actually a keyboard sound. Holy shit. Honestly, the instruments are very straightforward, but that's fine because they have so many interesting things going on with the vocals. I think the vocals is what makes the song interesting and make me like it right out the gate. The drums, the basic guitar, nothing crazy, but it's very solid, very catchy. Mainly, they're just holding it down and they have all these interesting EDM vibes. It's all about the mixing. Overall, just a great song. Psst, check out my uh, reaction right here or breakdown. See you.